Hi, I'm Chris Drysdale with Rocky Mountain Equipment. Today we're going to talk about the header height controls and the calibration of the headers. So we're here at the side of the header and we're looking at this hydraulic block. Again, we want to make sure that this area is clean, free of debris before we insert to the hydraulic block. And then we have our electrical Deutsch connector. We want to make sure that all the pins are populated and free of debris before we plug it into the connector. So we're here inside the cab and you want to go again to our toolbox and to head one tab. We're going to make sure that our pickup header is selected and if it is plugged in properly and is reading it, it should be grayed out. We'll double check and verify our header widths, our target work width, as well as our maximum working height, but we'll get back to that. In header two, this is where we're going to enable or disable sensors, as well as change our response rate and our hydraulic response rate as well for the header height raise and lower rates. So if we go to calibrate, we'll go into the calibration menu, go to the bottom left tab, select header from the menu and then it will walk us through the steps. This takes about three to five minutes and as long as our sensors are in range you shouldn't have an issue. Pulse the header switch down to continue and pulse means basically just to quickly depress and it will automatically take the load from there. So once we're done the calibrations we're going to go back to toolbox and select head one tab and back to our maximum working height, we simply touch that, it'll pop up and you see a black bar re representing where the header position is currently from 0 to 100 on the potentiometer. This red line indicates our data recording threshold, so we can simply touch it anywhere on the monitor and that would change the position that the header would actually stop recording at as we raise it. And that's very important, you will get a pop up if that position is too low when yield is actually hitting the sensor, you'll get an error popping up saying crop flow detected but not recorded. It is very important to have the header below that recording threshold so that we are logging data and it's expecting to see crop hitting the sensor and recording that data.